I have very, very vague memories okay. of him. I was two and a half oh. when he died, so oh, I don't, okay. yeah. you know, I just don't have, yeah. they're, they're playful, you know. Right. You know, just very vague. So um, I really didn't get to know him, and when I started to read this diary, um, I wasn't a whole lot older than he was at the time, and I thought this was an incredible way to to get to know somebody that died when I was too young to get to know yeah. him or hear his stories. What, is there anything in particular that strikes you reading through the diary? Any favorite passages or most memorable? Um, well, there's uh, a point where it, it, it seemed to me it started to become real. Mm -hmm. And um, they were, uh, and this, if you read the history of the 332nd, this occurrence is explained in it. Um, they were doing a mortar, where they were doing maneuvers, and a mortar exploded. Oh. And it killed, it instantly killed five people. So he was one of the people, he and his, his uh, uh, 24 men um, had to dig graves for the five people that were killed in the um, mortars, mortar explosion during maneuvers. Um, it just seemed like after that the tone might have changed a little bit because it seemed like the things got real. That evening, Jerry shelled us like hell. Some more were close. They have the most fascinating whistle when they go over our heads. The boys were at, a little excited at first. A few sounded like gas shells. We went back to bed and had our gas masks handy. Saw an exciting air battle between the Jerry's planes and Italian planes. Jerry brought down an Italian observation balloon. The observers escaped by jumping with a parachute. One Jerry plane was shot down in flames by the anti-aircraft guns. And the aviator landed safely with a parachute. He jumped from the plane and landed behind Italian lines. Third Battalion left this morning. They are taking an average of 50 to the field hospital every day. It looks serious. Quite a few have died. They claim it is the Spanish flu. We were exposed to much. You said at uh, some point in the diary he seemed a little disillusioned uh, with the war. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I just feel like uh, as things went on and, you know, these guys are dying of the flu, mm -hmm. not combat casualties. Right. Um, the, the, they're not getting supplies, they're, they have no socks, their boots are falling apart, okay. and they can't get uh, new supplies in, and nobody mm -hmm. knows what's going on. Yeah. You know, they're never told anything. And so as, as the diary progresses, I see more and more frustration and um, um, homesickness. And the missing, especially he, towards the end of the diary, he misses his wife Ruby so much and he just really wants to get back to her. So do you think of him come Veterans Day? Uh... I always do. You know I, I have discovered um, all of the veterans that are in my family and then my in-laws as well and um, so I it has a whole different thing you know the older I get the, it has a whole different meaning for me. Yeah, so we, we, we really appreciate it, and we certainly don't refer to it as Happy Veterans Day. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's thank you. Blessed.